on the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus and the unconditional gift of self as the empty tomb. That is today's traditional Catholic mystical theology lesson for every soul on a Tuesday of reparative atonement on Mount Calvary in Catholic Detroit for the greater honor and glory of our triune God first and foremost through the Immaculate Mother of God for the sake of the whole world in modern times. At what moment is it wise to prepare for forever? At each present moment. At what opportune moment is it wise to prepare for one's eternal destination? At every present moment. From the booklet, Mary Crushes the Serpent, the demons maintain that the sins of men give them power over men. They say that God permits demons to keep what they have won through the misdirected will of man, and only the free will of man can take from them what the free will of man has given them. Through the willful suffering of victim souls, the demons are deprived of that which men have given them through sin. On the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus and the unconditional gift of self as the empty tomb, a recent traditional Catholic mystical theology lesson for every soul touched on the trauma of abortion that continues throughout the life of a woman in particular, even after having been absolved while making a sacramental confession, because she carries the execution site within her, wherever she goes. Jesus Christ is our almighty, God-given, supernatural remedy for all. This day's comparison with the after-effects of abortion is a stark reminder for sin, generally speaking, because sin harms both the body and, most importantly, the soul, while unrepentant sin causes death to the body and, most importantly, to the soul. While the body does not last forever, each soul is precious, priceless, and immortal. Each one carries within ourselves either the desire to accomplish God's will, in imitation of and in union with Christ, the author of truth, or the desire to accomplish the will of the self in imitation of and in union with Lucifer, the father of lies. On this day, I Am speaks in the holy silence in the natural of the unconditional gift of self given to him as Almighty God wills, in imitation of and in union with Christ crucified, as his God-given remedy also through his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus. This unconditional gift of self as a crucified soul is the inversion of sin, as sin is an inversion of God's love. So the self is emptied by an act of its own free will. In effect, it becomes one with Christ and his salvific mission through time, through the Immaculate Mother of God. It takes upon its very self the crime of execution, in order to make reparation for it. And as a result, this empty tomb carries within its offering of the resurrected Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, and the one who conquered sin and death, our Redeemer, Restorer, Remedy for all, and self-sacrificing, unconditionally loving, Divine Bridegroom of every soul. Imagine. The prayer to reproduce the image of God in our souls. I salute you, I adore you, and I love you, adorable face of my beloved Jesus, as the noble stamp of the divinity, completely surrendering my soul to you. I most humbly beg you to stamp this seal upon us all, so that the image of God may once more be reproduced by its imprint in our souls. Amen. To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus and your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation, visit www.theworkofreparationtotheholyfaceofjesus.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, by my holy face you will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and draw down mercy on sinners. And he still means it.